In an era in which we are questioning the effectiveness of markets in producing the kind of society and economy we want to live in, it is more important than ever to have an objective debate about the role that markets and the state play in the economy. Is the state necessary only to correct market failures, or is it also needed to more actively shape and create markets and technological opportunities, and to promote growth which is not only smart, but also inclusive? constantly think of the state's role as only fixing market failures. Different types of market failures that might arise because you have public goods or different types of positive or negative externalities. But in the world of innovation, which is what I study, what you find is that some of the most important things that government has done, from funding, you know, putting a man on the moon, to the internet, to really funding what was the biotechnology revolution, it was guided by mission-oriented investments, and market failure theory just cannot address that problem. And why this is important is also because we really need to start linking up micro and macroeconomics much more. We cannot just talk about you know, the importance of fiscal spending on anything, because in fact, there's evidence that when government spending is directed, directed towards some sort of broadly defined area, whether it was IT in the past or green in the future, the spending multiplier is actually three times as large. Until we have a way to make this link, to really think of fiscal spending, not just in terms of fixing different types of market failures or output failures, but also in terms of providing a direction for where does the economy actually want to go, um, it's going to be very hard for these different types of, for example, innovation policies or industrial strategy policies to really have an effect. The main point coming back to the issue around market failures and the real necessity for economists to think of words, different words, and how to explain what the state does, I think we sh should find inspiration from the work of Karl Polanyi, who really talked about the state as not just fixing markets, but shaping and creating them actively. His point was just very interesting is that the capitalist market is actually very recent. That was the national market. So local and international markets have actually existed since the time of the Egyptians. What's very specific to capitalism is the national market, and that was actually forced, imposed by the state. So even the state versus market distinction in some way is a fabrication.